And a very pleasant good afternoon, everyone. It is Tuesday afternoon, December the 17th. You are now here with me. <laughs> Welcome to Whiteboard Weather. Uh, for this afternoon, we will be talking certainly about our local weather and actually <clears throat> long range and improving weather pattern with not only some sunshine back, but also some warmer temperatures will be heading our way as well. Before we get into all of that, uh, a couple of notes that I want to touch on. Um, yes, talked about this this morning. Today is the one year anniversary of whiteboard weather. This time, 365 days ago, uh, I did my first whiteboard weather segment. Um, I think a lot of people tuned in that day. Uh, just to see if I was going to go off the reservation uh, with regards to my former employer going in a new direction. Uh, I did not. Um, but since then, boy, we have come a long way. Um, and it certainly hasn't been done uh, on my own. It has been done mostly by uh, your support. Uh, but uh, it has been uh, quite a journey over the last year, uh, starting from a few markers and a really teeny tiny whiteboard to a whiteboard on wheels. I think I got 50 markers now. Um, we have a website. Um, I have um, a theme song, which we're going to hear in a moment. I have apparel. Uh, and boy, it's, it's just been sponsors. Um, certainly couldn't uh, have done it without the uh, support of the sponsors that support this program every day. Uh, so thank you to everyone and especially to you uh, for supporting me over the course of the last 365 days. Now, that said, again, we have a theme song. It's the Whiteboard Weather theme song. It's my buddies Skip and Jeff from Good Brother Earl singing it. And we head to the website, pittsburghweathernow.com, with photos sent in by you. Thank you to all of you for the kind words. Uh, I saw Apollo checking in, uh, as well as several other neighborhoods this afternoon. Uh, thank you for your loyal support, and thank you for joining Whiteboard Weather. Here's uh, Margie from Cecil checking in this afternoon. I want to also thank and give some love and support to our sponsor this Tuesday afternoon. It is Country Hammer Moonshine a limited distillery that specializes in flavored moonshine. They have over 50 flavors and they have seasonal flavors uh, as well. In addition to the standard flavors, they skillfully blend with only the finest ingredients and expertise. I've told you this before, this is a hot trend right now, the flavored moonshine trend, and this would be a, a hot gift idea, whether it be for a stocking stuffer or maybe to stuff into one of those uh, wine bags. You can put moonshine in a wine bag. Uh, and I think they have a, at Country Hammer, I was there last week, they have a redneck stocking uh, that they sell there with a couple of flavored moonshines in the, in the uh, stockings. They have four locations in Bethel Park, North Huntington, Robinson Township, and Clareton. So there's likely one close to you. You can visit them in their retail locations, one of those four locations, or online at countryhammermoonshine.com. And you can order online as well. You get 10% off of that online order. 
Uh, visit my friend Tim in one of his four locations or online. It is Country Hammer Moonshine. It is flavored moonshine and some of the seasonal flavors they have right now include candy corn, caramel apple pie, cinnamon toast crunch, green apple, java bean, and pumpkin pie. And just to show you, these are the what are called airline minis. They sell them in three sizes. They have these airline minis. They have um, half pints and fifths. These would be a great stocking stuffer. They're not very much. You can buy them in a in a pre-wrapped box of I think six are in there, and you can sample six different ones. So uh, these would be a great gift, a great stocking stuffer at Country Hammer Moonshine. So there you go. Um, all right. Now uh, we do want to talk about some weather, obviously, and uh, some other special stuff. Um, in addition to the weather, I want to remind you, you heard Jeff and Skip with the Whiteboard Weather theme song. Well, guess what? I need to remind you that this Friday, I'm going to have my Christmas special that's going to feature live music from Jeff and Skip. They're going to be singing some Christmas tunes live here as part of Whiteboard Weather on Friday. So mark it down if you want to get into the spirit of the season with Whiteboard Weather. Jeff and Skip, be sure to tune in Friday, 3 o'clock promptly, uh, for the holiday edition of Whiteboard Weather and some live holiday music. Um, birthdays, very quickly today, let's hit those. Michelle Tafoya, the uh, broadcaster from Sunday Night Football fame most recently. Actor Bill Pullman and the Holy Father himself, Pope Francis, is 83 years old today. It's National Maple Syrup Day and National Wright Brothers Day today when they successfully uh, launched uh, their flight back in 1903 on this day of a heavier-than-air machine propelled uh, aircraft. Uh, so it is National Wright Brothers Day today. Um, all right, now let us talk about some weather information. It has been uh, an interesting 24 hours with uh, some rain, even some freezing rain in spots, uh, as well as some flakes and flurries, and some of which are still flying about in a few locations this afternoon. Let me show you the latest on radar, and you can see there's not much out there, and what is out there is pretty light. Uh, again, this is a, a live update of radar as of, what, about uh, three minutes ago or so. You can see, if you look very carefully, you can see some very lightly colored strands of precipitation showing up. Those are really just a couple of pockets of flurries, moving through the area there's not going to be any accumulation and overall the trend will continue to be for what's left out there with regards to moisture fizzling out altogether we will stick with a fair amount of clouds around the rest of tonight if you're heading out the door in the next few minutes it is 33 degrees a northwest wind at nine pushes the feels like temperature down to 27 degrees a look at temperatures elsewhere right now you can see if you look back there, look back there. That is my thermometer. It reads 32 degrees outside of my house. Can you see that there right behind the God of Thunder? 32 here at the homestead. Elsewhere, we got temperatures of similar numbers. It is 32 in Newcastle, same in Beaver Falls. Butler, 32, 33 in Pittsburgh, as well as Washington, and 32 in Latrobe, as well as Indiana. Safe to say, I think most places are right around 32, 33 degrees at this hour. Let me show you the uh, latest on the surface map. I'll provide a little bit of an explanation here. This is about 7 o'clock this evening. You can see kind of this little bubble here of these isobars. That's a little brief ridging of high pressure that's going to build in this evening and tonight. That's not going to clear us out, but it will cut off that flurry activity that is spotty in the area right now. Moving ahead to tomorrow morning. You'll notice the front back here in through the Great Lakes. That front, sorry about that, will be here tomorrow morning. We move ahead to about 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. There's the front across Lake Erie, and you can see a little bit of uh, snow shower activity that's going to be generated by that front. Um, I think our best timing tomorrow to see a scattered snow shower is going to be between about 7 a.m. and noon, and the best chance of seeing some accumulation is going to be near and north of I-80. You can see where that deeper shade of blue is. Now, the front will pass the area 
that will reinforce the cold air for the next couple of days. You can see Wednesday evening, the front is now down to the south. Still a few flakes up here near the lakeshore, but we'll start to see high pressure building in as we head into Thursday. And Thursday morning shows that bubble of high pressure overhead. Guess what? We will see a return of sunshine as we head through the latter half of the week and eventually the return of warmer temperatures by the weekend. That being said, I want to show you this again. I've been talking about this for the better part of the last week or so. The long range temperature outlook has been fairly consistent in showing above average temperatures. This is December 26th or 22nd through the 26th. That is the time frame here. And the Climate Prediction Center is still showing much of the country with above average temperatures. That includes us in Western PA. What does that mean? Right now, if I had to put a number on it, I would say by Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, we will likely have temperatures in the 50s. Probably the low 50s would be the best guess at this point, but that would also argue well against having a white Christmas this year as we're going to see some milder temperatures start to take shape this weekend and carry us through pretty much all of Christmas week. So um, that has been fairly consistent, that outlook over the better part of the last couple of weeks as well. And there's nothing uh, that is changing with regards to that outlook uh, at this point. So let's head over to the whiteboard. That's the money, man. That's the money maker, the whiteboard. <laughs> as we take a look at the next several days, uh, we are brought to you, as I said, by Country Hammer Moonshine, online at country-hammermoonshine.com. Four locations, Bethel Park, Robinson Township, North Huntington, as well as Clareton for the retail shop, so you can reach them online for all of the flavored moonshine, 50 flavors for you to choose from, there's likely one that you would really, really, really enjoy. Your sunset and sunrise times tonight. Moon phase is waning gibbous, although you won't see it with all the clouds overhead. An extended dry stretch of weather will start on Thursday. And I think it's going to last through the better part of probably next week as well. Uh, we're going to see more dry time than wet time. Above normal temperatures expected for Christmas week, as I just showed you. Here's a look at the forecast for tonight. A mostly cloudy sky. Chilly, 25. The low temperature right now, again, we're running around 32. So we'll see about a 5 to 7 degree drop off. Then tomorrow, brisk and cold. Again, that cold front will pass through with a reinforcing shot of cold air. So the temperature will only reach the upper 20s tomorrow. Winds will be out of the northwest at probably about 10 to 15 miles an hour, so that adds a little extra bite to the air tomorrow. Scattered snow showers, less than an inch of accumulation, and mainly, the or the best chance to see those scattered snow showers will be mainly between 7 a.m. and noon, and then things will taper off in the afternoon, and then skies will turn partly cloudy tomorrow night, 15, the low temperature, hashtag burr. On Thursday, we'll double that number up to 30. Mixture of clouds and sunshine return on Thursday, but again, a chilly day. Friday, back to normal, 39. That's the average high for the date. Partly sunny skies above normal starting Saturday, 43, with more clouds than sunshine. And then Sunday, partly sunny and getting even milder, 48 degrees. And as I said, if I had to make the the guesstimate at this point, I would say leading up to Christmas Day and Christmas Day itself, temperatures are expected to be in the 50s. That is your whiteboard for this Tuesday afternoon brought to you by Country Hammer Moonshine. Um, so that's the outlook. A um, few more snow showers tomorrow. Shouldn't be much. Shouldn't be a big deal. I like saying that uh, whenever things aren't going to be a big deal because when I was back at my former job, they'd always tell me, don't tell people it's not going to be a big deal. I can tell you that now. It's not going to be a big deal tomorrow. Um, in the morning, some scattered snow showers. And it could be a quick accumulation in spots. But overall, um, uh, shouldn't be much uh, troublesome through the afternoon. Uh, and then 
Sunshine returns and temperatures get back near normal by Friday and above normal over the weekend and beyond. So that will do it for the weather information today. Visit my website when you get a chance, pittsburghweathernow.com. That's where you'll find all of my original content, full library of whiteboard weathers, fun facts of the day, educational videos, weather records, photo galleries, and of course the merchandise shop. If you're looking for something to buy for the weather lover in your life, how about some whiteboard weather merchandise? We have... Um, the full complement there, mugs, t-shirts, short and long sleeve, as well as sweatshirts, crew and hoodie style. Uh, so visit the website when you get a chance. As always, please share, please share Whiteboard Weather. We've been around a year now because of you, your support, and your willingness to share and spread the word about Whiteboard Weather. Uh, and I certainly do appreciate it. And a reminder, a couple of reminders. Um, uh, well, actually, just one reminder. Friday. That's the one I wanted to hit on. Um, the special, the Christmas special, Friday, 3 o'clock. Live music during the Christmas special. And I promise not to disappoint with my attire as well. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for checking in. Slate Lick, appreciate you. Uh, thanks, everyone else, for checking in as well. Have yourself an outstanding Tuesday evening. Pens in action tonight. I think they're in Calgary. Uh, so they're in a Western Canada swing, so the game's on a little later tonight uh, if you can stay up that late. If you are can keep your eyes open, I probably will not be able to do so. I'll try, but I probably won't make it. Anyway, have a great day, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow morning, bright and early, 7 a.m. Peace.